All right, today I'm going to demonstrate the draw or the verbal command for come to me again. And I'm going to kind of break it down into pieces. And I'm also going to demonstrate saying the horse's name because they're learning their name by default, right? When we're teaching them to come to us. Champ back. Back. Good. So as you can see, I've got two horses today. I've got Champ, who's a quarter horse, the black quarter horse over here. And I've got Sozo, who was once a wild Mustang. And um, so both of these horses are going to be part of the Liberty Challenge. And what's interesting about what we're doing today is that I'm trying to teach ah, champ. I'm trying to teach them to work together. Now they live together in a herd. Good boy. Back. Back, champ. Back. Good boy. They live together in a herd. Um, so they're very familiar with each other. Ah, ah champ. But as you can see, <laughs> it's funny. Champ didn't start this until I started filming. So, but you're you're gonna see me kind of give him some um, correction there when he tries to bite his friend Sozo. So, horses don't understand punishment. So, what I'm doing is not punishment, but I am um, giving him a verbal command, which he associates with stop doing that. <laughs> and I say his name before um, before I give him the verbal command act, so that he'll know that I'm referring to him. Okay, so let's move on and I want to show you the draw to me. Okay, so I'm going to start with Sozo. So I'm going to say your name and then I'm going to say the command or um, I, I kind of hate to use the word command. I'm going to say the verbal Q for come here. So here's Sozo and the verbal Q for come. Sozo, voila. Bravo, good girl. And as you can see, I just gently drew her toward me using my rope. And that's really all she needed. I just did it really slow. As we talked about in the last video, I want her to be right here on my belly button. Good girl. Okay. And now I'm going to back her up. Back into the place where she's supposed to be with Tim. Okay. Sozo. Back. 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 Good. Now she had moved up a little bit. Chant back, back, chant back, good, good, all right. So the goal is for one to draw near and to back without the other one moving. And that's difficult because horses are herd animals and they're very social and in the wild they tend to react and respond based on what other herd members are doing. So if one moves, the others move. Okay, so now it's Champ's turn. Champ, voila. Champ, voila. Bravo, good job. And again, I draw him to my belly button. Good. Now they're a little distracted because there's some things going on around us. So it's my job to keep to try to keep their attention. And that's the other reason why using their name is helpful. Okay, champ, back, back, good, bravo, back. Good, good job, champ. Very nice. And now they're both in their place beside each other. So they're getting really used to being comfortable being beside each other. All right. So let's try Sozo again. 
Sozo. And watch how I use uh, my rope handling skills. Sozo. Voila. Good girl. Good girl. There. Right at the belly button. Very good. So she didn't need a lot of pressure on the rope to come to me. Later we'll get this a little snappier, but we're in the beginning stages. So I'm happy that they come when they hear my voice. Just like in our John verse that we talked about. Oh, we, now we have a friend coming. Our friend might get on camera. It's our cat. <laughs> Champ. Chatois. Champ. Chatois. And that means get in your place. He needs to go back to his place and not go see the cat. Good. Now, I want both of them to back. So I'm going to just say back for both. Back. 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 Bravo. Good. Sozo. Bravo. Good girl. Good girl. So I was asking her to get close to Champ and get in her space. Okay, let's see. I brought so okay, I did so so I'm gonna do champ again. Oh, you heard your name. Well, hello. Hello. Thank you, but we weren't quite ready. Champ, back. The champ needs to work on backing up. Good boy. Good job. Champ. Voila! Bravo! Good job! Oh, he went right in front of Sozo. <laughs> and got her rope on his butt. Now we're really a mess. Alright, so we got a chatois, champ. Chatois. Bravo! Chatois. This really is chatois. This is ch Just Move your tiny back over where it was. Good. which is our word for get in your place. Chatois. Bravo. Very good. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> I think Sozo is falling asleep. All right. Lovely. Good job. Okay, so there was a lot in one video. But what I really wanted you to see, don't worry about some of the other commands that I'm using. I'll get to that another day. Champ. Oh. Back. Good. I just wanted you to see how I ask them to come to me, to draw near to me um, with the rope. And then you saw me that last time with the training stick to encourage Champ to come forward a little bit snappier. So I just put some energy in the stick. I didn't touch him with it. And he came forward a little snappier. Champ. Good. So I think he's getting ready to cause her to want to squeal. And so I'm just kind of intervening. <laughs> um, and so you saw that I use their name quite often as well. And they're learning their name because I'm saying it so much. And it's obvious that they now know it because when I say one of their names and say, come to me, they do it and the other one stays back. This is, I think, the second or third time that we've done this activity. And so it's so much better. They've actually really started to learn who I'm speaking to. And again, this goes back to some of the things that we talked about, about knowing our audience. I need to, like the Lord knows us, uh, sheep hear his voice, and they come to him because he knows them. Well, I know these horses, and I know what makes them tick, but it's my job to know that about them. And it's our job when we're in relationships with people to know the same about the people that we're in relationships with so that we can better communicate with them. And then, of course, I'm using all of the things that we've talked about in terms of communication about being specific 
which one I'm referring to, the other one stays back, one comes, what I want them to do, when I want them to do it, and where they need to be, you know, my, on my belly button. And also being concise, so using the one word phrases to mean a lot of things. And then the other thing is being intentional about what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm being consistent with Champ when he, when he wants to uh, pester Sozo. Um, but I, I've also planned ahead of time what I was going to do. And I planned for potential problems that might come up and what I would do about those. And oftentimes, problems will come up in relationships that we did not plan for. And when it comes to horses, I do the thinking at night. And so I'll go home and process anything that I thought might need attention. Hey, this is up. Nice to see you. And see, I'm not going to get aggravated with them when they come up and visit me. They're not being um, disrespectful when they come up. They just want to visit. But I am going to ask her to go back to her place because I didn't ask her to come forward. And also, she's stepping on her rope, so we got to kind of move her together. Back, good. <laughs> back, good, good. Good girl. Bravo. Good girl. All right, so that's our session for today. I hope you're learning a lot, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.